but I'm going to go in my classes and as you can see, I do not have the D13 sector unlocked, I do not have the new China Lake, the only weapons that I have in those categories that are unlocked are the L4 Siege and I don't have any special weapons unlocked. So there you go, there's proof. Okay, so basically before we do this glitch, there's something you need to know. There are six lethals and seven tacticals. The weapons that we will be using for this glitch, the number of weapons in that category has to be either six or seven because basically the weapons take up the spots of the lethals or tacticals. What is going on guys? It is Lux here in today's brand new video. I'm going to be bringing you some Black Ops 3 content. Now today it's going to be a little bit different than usual because I'm showing you a glitch on how to get the black market weapons for free in Black Ops 3. Now as you know the KVK-99 and the China Lake just came out and the KVK-99 is the AN-94 but just remastered into Black Ops 3. You don't even have to spend crypto keys, you don't have to spend COD points, you don't have to spend real money to get COD points or anything like that. You don't even have to level up that much. Now if you're new to my channel, I would like you to subscribe and please drop a like on this video there used to be a glitch like this when the rifty 9 came out but it doesn't work anymore this is just a little variation of it it still uses the same concepts but it is a little bit different so if you try to do that old glitch it doesn't work so let's just get into this glitch so what you will need to do this glitch is an xbox one two controllers these are the two controllers that i have so i just use them my main account will be using the white one and my secondary account will be using the camo one and you will need two accounts so my secondary account as i said will be on my camo controller and my main account will be on my white controller and you will also need one friend that is playing black ops 3 and is in a public session he could even be at the multiplayer main menu really doesn't matter you just need him to invite you at the right time so right now i'm on my main account with my white controller and i'm going to press b to back out until i'm in the main menu where it says press a to start now i'm going to take my second controller with my secondary account and i'm going to sign in so like if you're playing split screen or something that would be on the top screen it would be like the leader now once you've done that you have to go to the multiplayer main menu don't press public match now once you're at this menu you take your main accounts controller the white one and you sign in your main account now once you've done that you take that same controller start up a custom game and you go to setup game edit game rules and the custom classes preset classes choose whichever one you want it doesn't matter and you press x on the weapon to delete it now this is where it gets a little bit tricky once you're in this menu so once you're in this create a class menu you're gonna have your friend invite your secondary account on your second controller and while accepting that invite on your secondary controller you're gonna spam a on your main accounts controller so it keeps choosing the cuda now i don't have a friend to invite me so i'm just gonna invite myself this might sound a little bit weird but i'll show you how to do it right now with your main accounts controller you're going to backtrack a little bit. You're going to go out of this menu to the custom lobby screen and you're going to press B to log out of that account. You're going to switch to a third account. Now this third account is on the white controller. You're going to press A and it'll be this whole new account. And what you're going to do is invite your secondary controller's account. So your secondary account to a game. Now I'm going to do this about five to 10 times or so just to make sure when I switch back and do this process again, that the invites are still coming and I have time to do this. So after you send a couple of invites, you're going to sign back into your main account on that controller. You're going to press B to sign out of that on Black Ops 3. Then you're going to switch accounts to your main account again. Then sign in to it on Black Ops 3. Then you're going to go to the preset class screen like we were before. And on your secondary controller, you're going to accept the invite by holding the Xbox button. And at the same time with your main account's controller, you're going to spam A to try to put the CUDA or whatever class you had in there. Now it should say error code or something like that or it, it'll just glitch out. You will still see the create a class screen, but in the background, you will see the custom games lobby now this is good if you can see that little orange cursor and you can move it with your secondary controller then that is good you have done the glitch now with your secondary accounts controller you're gonna press b exit out of the custom games now you're gonna go all the way up to public match and you're gonna press a and then you're gonna go all the way to the top then go down one and then it's created class don't press it yet what you're going to do is to take your main accounts controller and move the created class screen till you can choose like lethals or tacticals now once you're able to choose those you choose one that is not unlocked yet you haven't used an unlock token and you're just gonna hover over it now with your secondary accounts controller you're gonna go to create a class and you're gonna hover over one of the weapons now with your main accounts controller you're gonna press a then you're gonna unlock it now what you're going to do is take your secondary accounts controller and press b all the way until you're in the public match screen and now as you can see the weapons and even some of the black market weapons are glitched into the lethal screen so what you're going to do is hover over one of them once you hover over that you're gonna press unlock and equip and now as you can see in your classes in your lethal or tactical spot is a d13 sector or whichever weapon you chose now what you're gonna do is let this screen sit for a little bit let it save in the online server that you actually changed your class 
glass because sometimes if you don't wait long enough it won't stay there and if it doesn't stay there you're gonna have to do it all over again so now with your secondary accounts controller you're gonna press B until you're all the way at the screen where it says press A to start you're gonna use your main accounts controller to press A and stuff you go to the multiplayer main menu then you go to public match and you go to create a class and see if it's in your lethals or tacticals if your weapon is there then you have done this correctly now if you want to get into a game with it you will spawn in with your fists and you just press Y a couple times and the weapon should pop up now if you do have weapons equipped you just do the same exact thing you'll just spawn with a weapon now as you can see in this gameplay I have the D13 sector and I'll even show you some gameplay with the new China Lake that just came out for days of summer with Black Ops 3 also came out with the KVK 99 but unfortunately you're not able to get that with this glitch maybe there's another one that you can get it with if I find out that you can I will show you on my channel because I really like that weapon in Black Ops 2 and I'm sure a lot of you did too so as you can see with this glitch it is in a lethal and tactical spot so unfortunately you cannot press Y and then put a camo on it because you're not able to do that for lethals and tacticals and also you're going to be able to unlock attachments because you're actually using the gun getting progress on it leveling it up and everything but you will not be able to equip those attachments because there's no attachments for lethals or tacticals so these are the only downsides of doing this you won't get the full weapons ability because you don't have the attachments equipped and the camos and sights and stuff like I did this with the DBSR and it didn't have a sight on it and I wanted to put one on it once I unlocked it I was not able to put it on because once again you're not allowed to put attachments on lethals or tacticals so it doesn't allow you to do that but I mean if you do end up unlocking them sometime in the future you do have progress on them still and camos and sights and everything you can unlock for them that is the only downside of this glitch but isn't that better than just not being able to use them at all there's something you need to know there are six lethals and seven tacticals the weapons that we will be using for this glitch the number of weapons in that category has to be either six or seven because basically the weapons take up the spots of the lethals or tacticals if you're using the assault rifles then all of the stock not black market ones will take up the spots of the tacticals before any black market weapons go in there and you cannot scroll down any further than that unfortunately you can only use this to unlock the banshee the dbsr the rsa interdiction the marshall 16 rift e9 1911 ballistic knife nx shadow claw d13 sector and the r70 ajax you may be asking what about the melee weapons well i couldn't do this glitch for those because i already have all of them all of the first seven that showed up in the lethals or tactical spot i already had so i didn't even have to do the glitch so i don't know if you want to go ahead and try to do that you can i mean if you really want to use one of those melee weapons or something all right so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content like this leave a comment anything your heart desires i would really appreciate it it is lux and i'll see you in the next one